Welcome back to 2019 CA Football Media Day. Down on field level here at M&T Bank Stadium here with the Stony Brook Sea Wolves. here with Coach Chuck Priori. Over here, Gavin Heslop, defensive back, and Sam Camaro on the defensive line. How's everyone doing today, fellas? Doing good, man. Yeah, enjoying being good. here, being down here at field level. What's it like being here at a NFL stadium? It's real cool. Uh, the setting's cool. I like all the people, man. It's been, a good, it's been a good environment, man, for the first time, man. I will play. Awesome, awesome. Well, Coach, uh, earned a playoff berth for the second sec consecutive season last year. Is this now, do you see this a, a turn for the program where this is an expectation every year for, for your program? Well, it's certainly um, something that we strive for each year. Um, it, goals that these guys set each and every offseason is to be the best we can be and just learn to continue to be great. And that's the thing we say uh, around Stony Brook, how do we get to be great? And um, part of the benchmark is being able to make the playoffs. So we're happy with our previous accomplishments, but looking forward to this year. Absolutely. Coach, talk a little bit. You got two defensive guys here today. And before we get to them, you guys hang your hat. And then we've talked about this before. You run the football, you play great defense. It's not something that a lot of people do anymore. Now talk a little bit about that philosophy and, and why you think it makes you successful. Well, I learned from some great people in my career that um, if you can defend the run on both sides of the ball, meaning be able to attack the defense yeah. and stop the offense, um, you're going to be in the game at the end of the game. And I think these guys um, have showed that over their careers here. And I think Stony Brook has showed that. We're year in and year out a top defensive team, not only in the conference, in the country. Absolutely. Gavin, this, this defensive unit, I mean, last year especially, just knew how to take away the ball but also score. You know, you had two – Fumble returns for touchdowns, including yours against Richmond last year. Four interception returns for touchdowns last year. Is this something you guys emphasize in practice, not just turnovers, but being able to turn turnovers into points? Yeah, we definitely um, emphasized that last camp, you know, because going – well, two seasons ago, we didn't have a lot of interceptions. A lot of, we didn't have any interceptions for returns. So going into last camp, we definitely made that a, a point for us to really, really hone in and, and um, you know, focus on taking the ball away and – Turning it into points, so, and we did great. We did great with that last season. So absolutely, yeah. Sam, talk a little bit about what it's like to face the offensive firepower that you have in this conference week in and week out. It, it's tough because we got a lot of teams that got a lot of firepower. You know, CAA is a good conference. Always been a good conference. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't come out there ready to play, you're gonna get left in the dust. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's real challenging, but at the same time, I feel like us as a unit. We come ready to play every time, every time. Speaking of some offense, Coach, you lose a lot of skill guys from last year. Who are some of the guys you're looking at stepping into the starting roles? And does your offensive philosophy change at all going into this year? Um, no, I think we'll stay um, true to who we've been. Um, certainly, we're going to have to do the tweaks needed. Um, you know, you know, we're going to be bringing a new quarterback in for the first time in four years. Um, but the two guys that are working at it, Ty Quell and Jack, uh, really representing our place correctly. Um, you know, Isaiah White comes back um, off a red shirt year last year, and, and he was a running back as a freshman who played as a true freshman. We moved him over to linebacker. He'll be back on offense. And then uh, Nick Anderson and um, Andrew Trent were guys that unfortunately were injured last year, but I think they would have been leaders of our receiver corp. And um, we're fortunate enough to bring back, I think, uh, very experienced and um, great potential up front on the offensive line. You guys obviously hang your hat on running the ball. Talk a little bit about that group. I mean, you're big, physical. Who's your leader up there? Well, you know, Kyle Nunez is a young kid, is, but um, we got Joe Tatori, who's a fifth year senior, who's been a starting center for his third year. Anthony Catapano, who split reps with him, who's going into his fourth year. Mason Zimmerman is a fifth year guy, who'll be his third year starting. We're a little younger at the tackles, but. Um, we have a couple of transfers coming in and also the guys in the program that have really stepped up. Um, the nice thing is we're not young up front. Right. We, we probably have 10 or 11 guys that have played football at Stony Brook. That's great. Gavin, two years in a row, as I told Coach at the beginning of this segment, uh, been to the playoffs. Do you feel like as a team, do you guys collectively talk like this is the expectation in every year, get to the playoffs, compete for conference championships? And what does that mean to you now going into your senior year? Um, making it two years in a row is really a um, – big accomplishment, but um, we don't really hang our hats on that, but we like to take it day by day, you know, and week by week, because we, we believe if we look too, we look too far in, ahead, you know, things won't go as planned, but, you know, we like to take it week by week and take our time, and really preparation is key, so we like to stay consistent with that week by week. It's most important. Sam, I got a good training camp question for you. So I, I spent a lot of time in training camp, more than I care to remember, uh, and a lot of it was as a D lineman, 
I was trying to keep weight on, especially this time of year. I was at one point in time in my life, I had to work to stay heavy. Right? It doesn't happen like that anymore. Uh, so what, what's your favorite training camp meal? Like when you come off the field, right? And it, whatever that one is, right? Whether it's breakfast or, you know, what, what, what are you eating to keep the pounds on? What am I eating? That's, that's a hard question because I eat a lot. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, what's your, your favorite? Like my your one favorite, thing? I'll say coming right out of practice, I say I get some grilled chicken, some pasta. Probably two burgers. Two burgers, nice. Two burgers, some Gatorade. Nah, finish top it off with some fruit. Uh, fruit, I like that. Yeah. Pretty healthy. Yeah, pretty healthy. I was going to say healthy. ice cream, but all right. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Gal? Me, I don't really have. Oh, I, I, I love when they have spaghetti and uh, meat and meat sauce, you yeah. know. But that's other than that, no, I don't. I don't eat too heavy. I like to keep it light. You know, I don't want to gain too Different much weight. Different position, right? Yeah. yeah. I gotta keep. I gotta keep my speed. So keep your speed, yeah. <laughs> Coach. What about you? You got something to go look. It's hard for coaches, too. Yeah. Don't give me camp yep. is a grind for coaches. So what's your kind of comfort food that you've got? Well, when I was younger, yeah. I'd go after it just like these right, guys. Yeah. Now, it's a, <laughs> now it's a nice salad with some grilled chicken on right, right, right. it. Maybe a little it. Caesar dressing. <laughs> yeah. Coach, you know, we, Stony Brook was one of six teams that made the playoffs out of this conference last year. You know, when, when you're out recruiting, what, what do you say about this league and what, what – when you see six teams make the playoffs, what does it say about the league as a whole? Well, we were on the outside seven years ago looking at this conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we had the opportunity to join the conference, we knew it would be a great impact on our recruiting. And that's why these two guys picked us. Um, they knew we were going to be in the CAA. I think, Gavin, your first year was CAA. And um, the opportunity to compete at the level each, each and every week. And I think... You know, the national prominence is with teams that have won national championships and the amount of teams that go to the playoffs. But the opportunity to get there because of the recognition. And um, the commissioner said earlier, every week is a challenge and there is no wins on your schedule. So you've got to be able to be up. And I think that makes it more fun to play and practice during the week. I don't know if you guys agree, but I think it is. I agree. I Most agree. Definitely. Yep. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on set today. Enjoy the rest of the day here at Media Day. Stay healthy and good luck this season. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you, guys. All right.